Okay, hi everyone, welcome to this webinar. I'm Andrea, Head of Training here at ScienceFly, and I'm presenting you today the ScienceFly Academy e-learning platform. Our goal at ScienceFly is to set up our clients so you for success at all levels, so that you can use your ScienceFly system to its full potential. That doesn't only include an easy to set up hardware or safety actions in emotion, but also and more so how to collect high quality data to then process them into high quality outputs that suit your needs. This is why we created the SenseFly e-learning platform, SenseFly Academy. Here you can not only learn about EV and emotion, but also about aerial mapping principles, the entire your drone mapping workflow with the SenseFly system and how to safeguard your operations in the long run. We created six modules of around 10 hours of material that include presentations, exercises and quizzes to self-assess your understanding. These courses start with an introduction to SenseFly, its products and a workflow overview and then already deep dive into details about the SenseFly hardware and SenseFly software. These first four courses are available for free on our platform. Whether you're a client or not, you're totally free to sign up on the platform and just do these first four courses. And then if you want to learn more, we'll take you through a bit of theory about aerial mapping principles including the EV flight, navigation, data quality and processing, accuracy, regulations and airmanship. The mapping project module then takes you through each workflow step in detail, from best practice planning over preparation to data capture and data processing. And then, of course, an entire module about how to handle tricky situations like unexpected events or flying in complex terrain or flying complex missions and how to keep your equipment in top shape. Then the camera specific workflows, they talk you through how each kind of data you do the planning, the, cap, the data capture, and the processing for each type of payload that comes with the EBX series. And now I'll take you through a, the platform. So SenseFly Academy can be found by senseflyacademy.com. Of course, there is also a link on my.senseFly and you can find it on the SenseFly homepage under training. On the welcome page here, you find a short introduction to the platform and a login area. The login you can either create yourself, for example, to complete those first four courses that are free, or then you have registered via one of our sales representatives or resellers, or got in touch otherwise, and you've been provided the login via email. When you sign in, there is a course catalog with all the courses available. Upon choosing a course, you can add it to the roster. And this will make the course show up on your My Courses section. Clicking on the course, it takes you into the course and you can see that one course consists of several units and this can be a presentation, an exercise or a little quest quiz to test your knowledge. One course usually takes around 25 to 35 minutes. By completing all the courses and modules, so the 10 hours of material, if you work your way all the way through, plus do a one hour instructor session and complete the 40 question exam at the end, you can become a SenseFly certified operator. Becoming a SenseFly certified operator doesn't only take your drone flying and mapping skills to the next level, 
but can also help when acquiring insurance, when you apply for attenders, when you need approvals by your local CAA, or it may even count towards credits for continued education. The Sensefly Certified Operator Package comes at $1,250 per person. It gives you access, unlimited access to the platform, a live session with a Sensefly trainer, access to industry experts, and you are an OEM Certified Sensefly Operator. And this takes us to the Q&A session. So one of the questions we have here is whether this uh, course replaces a local drone pilot license. I assume it wouldn't because it, this course doesn't specifically address local regulations and uh, drone operating limited, limitations. Um, but it will still um, prove, if you prove for your skills and knowledge for this type of platform. So still, when you are applying for approvals or try to yeah, participate in a tender, you're always going to be one step ahead of your competitors because you can show that you have the skills how to safely operate this platform and generate the data needed. I have a question whether this course also applies to um, previous models of, of the EB, for example, EB plus and doing RTK. It's mainly set out to the EBX and the current Emotion version, so the layout will, will be slightly different, but the workflow as such has not really changed between the two models. So EB plus RTK workflows will be the same as EBX workflows. So you can totally um, go through this and uh, apply it to your EB plus flying skills. There's a question to <laughs> well, there are actually many questions coming in. So one other question is whether you do need to have an EB already in the first place before starting the course. And actually, no, you don't need to be a SenseFlight client or need to own an EB yourself. You can do this course and register even without having an EB. There's a question whether one needs to prepare anything specifically to participate at the one hour session with the instructor. And actually, yes, you have to go through all the courses. So basically complete all the modules and the courses, and then you'll be basically assigned to take part in the live session. Yes, the training session is completely online. Everything, well, it's a bit adapted to current situation out there in the world. So everything is online. Also the, the online session with the trainer, it's really there for you to, to ask critical questions that you may have now after having completed all the courses and modules. Okay, and then there is one more. Yeah. So 
There's a question whether one can come back uh, to a lesson. And yes, of course, you have unlimited access to the platform. Once you completed the course, it's completed. It, it counts as completed, but you can always go back and revisit and redo it again or test your knowledge again, etc. Also, if there is new material or updates, you will be informed and you'll have access to go through and that way stay always up to date to in terms of changes or any new features that may come up. And for this, you actually don't have to monitor the platform or what's happening on it. You will be notified via email. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, there is such a thing as a discussion, respect, respectively a chat, so you do have access to EB experts and SenseFly experts that will answer questions that, that uh, you may have during your completing the courses. You just ask them via the chat or these discussion forums and then they can be answered there. Yes, the course also covers processing currently with the pits for the map. There's a question whether the course uh, is based on some agreement with the civil aviation authorities. Currently not, but the course is designed after the ISO standards for uh, UAV operator training. So we try to comply as much with that one so that in case one day it can be pushed towards CAAs or if CAAs are interested in what we are doing here, this will all comply. Okay, I think that's it for the main questions. The ones I didn't cover yet, just stay online after this session and I'll quickly answer you uh, in the chat. Okay, or well, maybe just one more thing in order to register. Um, just contact your SenseFly sales representative or one of the resellers and uh, yeah, tell them uh, that you're interested in getting access to the training platform or you go directly to senseflyacademy.com and uh, we'll help you through these courses and find a good solution for it. And with this, we reach the end of this session and uh, I'm looking forward to help you get your UAV operations um, up to the next level to so that you can use your SenseFly system to its full potential. See you on SenseFly Academy.